I'll be honest, Dimension 3 is my favorite dimension to throw my spin kick in. Why? Uh, just because you can throw it uh, from anywhere. You can throw it whether your opponent's trying to engage you and trying to, to, trying to jam you up. I can uh, create space with it. I love Dimension 3 because I, it's the only technique that you can go from punching distance to kicking distance in an instant and throw your most powerful technique in all of combat sports. So I'm excited to teach you guys Dimension 3 because uh, Dimension 3 has been one of my bread and butters uh, in combat sports. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to start off in our bladed stance in my lock and loaded position. Dimension 3 is if I have an opponent that is really close to me, uh, trying to jam me, pushing forward, or if I just engage, say, with my hands. Now what I'm going to learn to do is I'm going to learn to create space. Remember, while using a counter movement so I can transfer my power, so I can transfer, transfer that torque into my opponent. So what we're going to do is we're going to pull our front leg and we're going to switch it with our back leg. When I do that, I'm going to make sure I land it in that 1A position into my pivoted position. I want to make sure I don't over pivot it because if I do that, what that does is it opens up my hips. And if I miss my target, I'm going to fall off balance. So what I want to do is I want to replace my front foot with my back foot. I'm going to transition with my arms, a hand transition, creating torque, also engaging my core. In one motion like that, I'm also going to be looking over my opposite shoulder, slightly leaning my head away from my opponent, so that way if they were swinging or punching or kicking, they wouldn't be able to hit me. One more time, that motion looks like this. If you notice exactly where my back foot is, my front foot replaces that, body is slightly leaning back. Head up, eyes spotting my target. At the same time as my foot lands back here, my back kick pop is gonna hit my target and then I'm gonna go right into my cross out. Remember, landing in my opposite base. So as I throw this spin kick, I'm gonna emphasize with a clap. So you can see the same time my foot lands where my rear foot is, I'm actually engaging and hitting my target at the same time and it'll look like so cross out. Let's try that again. I'm in my lock and loaded position. I'm going to transition that front foot to that back foot. Cross out. I'll turn and hit it in this direction for you guys as well. I'm in my lock and loaded position. That front foot is going to pull back. Cross out. One more time in this direction over here. I'm in that lock and load, pulling that front foot to where that back foot. I want to pretend like someone had a rope tied to that foot, and they're pulling that front foot away from my opponent as I throw that kick, cross out into a well-balanced stance. And here it is at medium speed. One more time. And that is our spin kick in Dimension 3.